Hi, welcome to Dashbot. We're an analytics platform for any conversational interface, both voice and chatbots. Today, we're going to show you our voice product. We support both Google Home and Amazon Alexa. So first, I'm showing you the reports for a Google Home action. Some of the reports we have are what you think of as traditional analytics, things like user sessions, engagement, like times per session and interactions per session, retention, like what percentage of your users come back each day. But what's much, this is all table stakes. What's much more important or interesting is if you actually look at the interactions themselves. So this report gives you an idea of the activity level of your action, the interactions in and out. What's a little bit more interesting, though, is to actually look at the interactions. So these, this is a report of the top utterances into your action or skill. You can see the most popular utterance in is talk to Dashbot. So if we select this utterance, we enter into a conversational flow. So we can navigate the messages through this, this flow. So when users say talk to Dashbot, the most popular response is the welcome to Dashbot message. And you can see we can navigate the flow. So the reason why this is useful is, you know, if you selected, imagine this was an error message. If you selected the error message, you can see all the, the uh, interactions or the utterances that happened before and the interactions that happened after. And you can go back and add support for those, um, you know, those uh, what you weren't initially responding to or where your intents might not be mapping correctly. You can also see we support the full richness of Google Home with the buttons and, and text and all. We also have all the transcripts, so you can go in and see the full context you know, behind these uh, interactions. So you can see here we support the full richness of Google Home, images, uh, lists, carousels, cards, uh, buttons, but more importantly, we support the AI and the NLP. So for instance, when users say talk to Dashbot, we can see what the underlying intent was, what the action is, we can view the contexts. You can even see here, do you support Alexa? What's the intent? Platform support. The action is show platform support. The current context is Alexa. So we even have reports on these intents as well. So you can see what the most popular intents are, and we can drill into them further. So see example turns out to be the most popular intent. If we select this funnel, we enter into a similar interaction funnel where you can see the intent, see example, these are all the messages that map to see example. Show me a list, show me a carousel, show me a card. And you enter that same funnel where you can go forward and back to navigate through. We also provide the sentiment analysis. So you can see here, this one, the users think uh, pretty positively about this um, uh, particular action. So everything is, is uh, real-time analytics. So if I pull up the action over here and say, you know, tell me about Dashbot. And go over to the live transcripts. Dashbot is a bot analytics platform with additional tools to take action on the data. You can see there um, how, how quickly it responds. So they can say, where are you located? Dashbot is located in San Francisco, California. You can see how quickly that comes up. So mentioned, we also support Alexa, and the reports are fairly similar here as well. We do all the intent tracking, uh, the interactions, utterances, and we have a few more additional reports around voice. So we have things like our goal funnel. So you can set up a funnel of steps that you want to track to see how people make it through that particular flow. We also have behavioral flow reports. So here you can see the full interactions inside your skill from beginning to end and where the drop-off and abandonment is as well as conversion. Now if you if you have the same app basically as an action uh, uh, on Google Home and a skill on, on Amazon Alexa, you can actually see how they compare through our cross-channel report. So here we have the same uh, uh, skill and action on two different platforms. Uh, we're seeing here how they compare in terms of users, sessions, uh, you know, the interactions, engagement. So this is meant to be really easy to integrate. It's just a few lines of code. So in the case of Google, you know, if you use the, eight, the Actions SDK, it ends up being two lines of code, include our, our module uh, 
pass in the assistant object to it. Uh, in the case of Amazon, we support the Lambda functions and webhooks. So here you include our module, you change one of the methods, and you're off and running. It's meant to be uh, pretty easy to set up. It's all self-service. You can come to www-dashbot.io and sign up for free and get started tracking. Thanks.